Hey guys, this is All Stream That back with another episode of NBA 2K19 My GM Mode. And we have a game against the Indiana Pacers. And the Seattle Sonics have a game against the Sacramento Kings. And those are semi-final games in the NBA Summer League. So let's go ahead and get into our game against the Pacers. And here we go. So let's see if we can do some good stuff here. Oh, that is nice from Josh Hart. Well, catch and shoot the corner. And there's Aton with a huge dunk. Make it five to nothing. Oh, nice. Okay, that was good. I thought he was actually going to use that pick. There we go. Steal by Morris. And a basket by Hart. There we go. Look at that. There we go. That's Crux. There we go. That's easy enough. Be an easy two. There's Aton. There we go. Come on. And there's Aton again. Oh. -ho -ho. One point two seconds left and we're up by twenty one. Let's keep it going here. <laughs> oh my gosh. And there's another three for Hart. Then he'll return the favor on the next one. And there's Johnson with an easy basket. There we go, Aton. There's Collinsworth, and ooh, he makes a three. Ooh, he nailed that three. All right, and we have won by almost 50 points. Okay, so uh, whoever wants to take it first, uh, who do you think is going to win the game? Well, gee, I think we're both going to say we're going to win the game. All right, yeah, from where I'm sitting, I think we're going to quite honestly mop the floor with these guys. We could bench our entire starting five and they wouldn't, still wouldn't have a shot. Kate doesn't want no excuses when we... Okay, no excuses when we beat you, I guess. Better not chicken out. Okay, just trying to make some sort of barbecue chicken reference. Wouldn't put too much stock in it. Okay, you can put stock on this. We're going to hand Isle here a big fat uppercase L, which he should be used to by now since he's stacking up L's his entire career. 
Okay, I've said what I need to say. I don't mind letting Andrew get the last word in. Uh, actions speak louder than words. Team image is at 70. Fan interest is 100%. In the tournament finals, as I predicted, St. Louis against Seattle because it is story driven. Alright, and here we go against the Sonics in the finals of the Summer League tournament. There's Aton with a quick two. And we can also start shooting threes with heart. There we go. <laughs> wow, they were on him too. Look at that. There's Collinsworth. There's Costello with the green. Ooh! No way to stop it. It's alright. We'll do it right back to him. Oh! Wow! Oh, good three, good three. There we go. There's Aton. There we go. Yeah, and there's Purtle. Oh. Well, okay then. There we go. Costello's getting knocked around. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. And we win by 29. Okay, Nathan Melbourne from Sports One Radio. He thinks it's fair to say that this year's Summer League was by far the most entertaining, the most successful version of Summer League we've seen yet. And I agree. Uh, we deserve a lot of credit for being willing to try something different to think outside the box. Okay, the Sandersons pride themselves on thinking outside the box. You don't become an icon in this league by sitting on your hands and accepting the status quo. Okay, it seemed like you and Andrew were developing a little bit of a rivalry in the run-up to the game. Any comments on that? Any thoughts now that the game is over? Don't have much to say. About all that, Nathan, obviously, uh, pretty happy with the way things turned out, like you said, and I want to thank you very much for your kind words, but all the credit goes to the players in these situations. They're the ones who go out there and put on a show. I do think, though, Andrew has sort of, is it a statement you wanted to read, Andrew, or is it something you wanted to say? Or am I misremembering? Don't mean to put you on the spot there, buddy. All right, thanks for reminding me. Don't mention it. Uh, okay, so he wants to preface this by saying that I hate to put a black mark on a day like this when we're here to celebrate a great accomplishment of the league, but he does have an announcement to make. Okay, it's with deep regret that I confess that I am the party who is solely responsible for soliciting inside information from an employee within the Tornadoes organization. Anything that happened as a result of that intelligence brief is or breach is my responsibility. And for that, I am truly very sorry. Okay, so he's the one responsible for the scandal surrounding the St. Louis Tornadoes earlier this offseason. Unfortunately, that's correct. 
How do you respond to these explosive revelations? Are you just learning for the first time today? Do you plan to file any grievances with the league? What do you think about your uh, former protege betraying you like this? Oh, wow. You know what? We're going to be nice. Okay, those were all good questions, but what's most important in this, in this situation to me is that people know the truth. Andrew made a mistake, a big one, but now that he's confessed and apologized, it's water under the bridge. I'm not concerned with exacting revenge or anything like that. It's just not my style. And furthermore, I think it's counterproductive to both the League and to the Tornadoes. In my experience, I find that in situations like these, it's best to move on and remove the distraction. Selfishly, that's our best path forward for finding success on the court, which is ultimately what this is all about. <coughs> so you don't plan to pursue any sort of legal judgment against Andrew at all? Like I said, Nathan, that's not important to me, and at this time, it's not something my organization is considering. Joey Lupo, Daily Reg, all do you feel at all betrayed by this? Sure, it hurts, I'm not going to lie, but like I said, at this point, now that the truth is out there, I'm more interested in looking forward than looking backward, and in that spirit of reconciliation, I have no further comments at, the t at this time. I wish the best for Andrew going forward, and I'm sure he wishes the best for me. So our team image uh, went up to 90%, fan interest is at 100%, and our team value has gone up. Okay, so now we're in the locker room. Uh, Lenny Ayers, uh, thank you for meeting with me. It's really important to me that I get a chance to explain to you what happened. After that, you can do whatever you want, and I'll understand, but I need to try to explain first. Okay, he's got my attention. Uh, first of all, before I say anything about what went down, I just wanted to say that I'm sorry, point blank. What I did was wrong, and I'm truly, truly sorry. I don't want there to be any confusion there. I'm sorry. <clears throat> was he able to get the help that he needed? Okay, so uh, were you at least able to get the money you needed for whatever's going on? I'm honestly not sh not even sure what is going on. I've just heard that you've had some medical stuff with your family. Uh, the short version is my wife needed a liver transplant. Okay, so, Courtney, isn't she only like, how old is she again? Low 40s, right? She turns 46 in a couple of weeks, and yeah, it's rare for someone that age, but it turns out she's got this rare genetic condition called Wilson's disease, which is just a whole other story about how long it took us to even find that out in the first place. Uh, liver transplants are insanely expensive. The surgery and all the medications the first few months after something Oh, after we're something like $600,000. It's unbelievable. I can't imagine being in that situation. Okay, so he took the money from Andrew just to put food on the table. And that's how bad it got. And even then, he's nowhere near paying it off. Uh, he's working small jobs on the side, handyman type stuff, just to keep his head above water. Uh, they're still struggling a lot, but without that money, uh, he doesn't even want to think about where they'd be right now. Um, he doesn't know if he regrets it on one level he does. I see how much it hurt us and ruined his career. But he'll do anything, he will do anything to protect Courtney and the kids. So he's embarrassed and ashamed, but at the same time he couldn't look himself in the mirror if he didn't give everything he had to protect his wife and kids. Okay, so he just wanted to give us his side of things. Um... And we can do whatever we want with the information. Okay, unexpectedly heavy stuff. How do we want to respond? Okay. We think we can help. We're going to talk to Tex. Okay, so what he wants to do is... We think we can get Tex to pay his bills.
Okay, so he's on the hook for more than half a million dollars. Okay, he's got half a million dollars worth of cowboy hats stashed in the back of his closet. Uh, he owns an NBA team. He could pay off your debt. He could pay off your debt like me giving him $20 for dinner. And as gruff as he might seem to outsiders, he's actually a total sweetheart. Okay. So, Tex pays for all the medical bills and any debt he has. He'll wipe it clean. And in return, when the time is right, he comes back and works for us. Okay, so, uh, more like a consultant. Um, he could work flexible hours and spend as much time with his family as he needs to. He'd be debt-free, earning a nice paycheck, and have all the time he needs to take care of his wife and kids. Okay, so just tell me you're in, we'll talk to Tex, and he is in. Okay, so... Let's... Okay, that's plus one compassion. And we've won the tournament finals. Let's advance... Okay, so he's a big proponent of tracking progress. And so let's take a look at the report card. Okay, so he doesn't know if the team's valuation has gone up, which uh, is really all that should matter to Tex. Um, Hasn't thought about it for quite a while, though. Okay, yep, yeah, because he is the only one that told us that the only thing that matters is the bottom line. So he doesn't quite see it that way anymore. So he is uh, kind of thinking he may not sell the team. Or at least push it back. Okay, you should join us before the first game. Uh, come down to the locker room and get a taste of the atmosphere before an actual game. Okay, we really want him in there. So, yeah, here we go. And the Summer League is done. So the next is the All-Star City Selection. St. Louis, Missouri. Okay, we are not going to do the 2K Hoop Summit. Uh, we're going to get right into the training camps. And let's see here. Reggie Jackson needs the Athleticism Camp. Okay. Okay, so uh, he wants Reggie Jackson to be sent to the athleticism camp. And we will send him. Okay. And his trust has gone up by 6 to 73. So let's uh, do some big man offense. And we want to send Aton. Let's do some. Let's see here. Let's do some perimeter shooting. And maybe we do that with leaf. Okay, that got him a little bit more. Um, let's do big man defense. And we'll do that with Pirtle.
and then maybe some combo guard and I no, let's not do that one um you know what most of our young guys are trained up um you know what let's do that with Taylor so that will get him at least a little something yeah so I mean that that should help him out a little bit and then maybe some untapped potential on O'Neill And there we go. And then we advance to the next season. And we will not do that right now. We will do that next time because I don't know if there's going to be a cutscene uh, once we advance. But that is going to end today's episode. Thank you for watching. My name is I'll stream that. Hit that like and subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications.